Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our annual meeting. I am Rhonda Liebrick, Program Director. Thank you to everyone that is joining us at our first virtual annual meeting. We sure have experienced a lot of firsts this year, haven't we? From sending our kids to school wearing masks and armed with hand sanitizer, to learning a new phrase, social distancing. A few months ago, I didn't even know that Zoom was a thing. Now look at us. Maybe some of you have even experienced your first happy hour via Zoom. Traditionally, our annual meeting, we share stories of impact while enjoying a delicious meal. Well, nothing is traditional about 2020. In fact, it's not an accident that we're holding our annual meeting on Friday the 13th. In all seriousness, let's bring our attention to the Lord, our Father, with a prayer in uncertain times. Dear Lord, may we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors remember those most vulnerable. May we who have the luxury of staying at home remember those who must choose between preserving their health and making their rent. May we who have the flexibility to homeschool remember those who have no options. May we who have to cancel our trips remember those who have no safe place to go. May we who are losing our margin money in the midst of a pandemic, remember those who have no margin at all. May we who have a good home to settle into, remember those who have no home. As fears of uncertainty continues to grip our country, let us choose love. And during this time, when we may not be able to physically wrap our arms around each other, let us find ways to be the loving embrace of God to our neighbors. Amen. We are happy you have joined us today. Habitat Sarasota is, con is committed to transparency. We will take this opportunity to report our impact from the previous year. John Peshkin, Habitat Sarasota Board Chair, will provide an official report on the organization. John has shared his experience with our affiliate for more than a decade. He is the principal and founder of Vanguard Land. He serves as a board member for a Fortune 500 home builder, and he is the driving force behind raising the bar for affordable housing in Sarasota. John strongly believes that Homeownership provides a stable foundation for families to grow and prosper. And we are very fortunate to have him as our board chair. I will now hand the annual meeting over to John. Thank you, Rhonda. It's my pleasure to serve as the board chairman of Habitat for Humanity Sarasota. Since our Sarasota affiliate was founded in 1985, thousands of volunteers like many of you have generously given their time to pursue our founding principle that everyone deserves a decent place to live. It's been humbling to witness the support this community has for one another. I'd like to thank everyone participating in today's Zoom annual meeting, including our volunteers, donors, community partners, and the Habitat Sarasota staff for your invaluable contribution toward building strength, stability, and self-reliance for the more than 350 families we've served. I'd like to give special thanks to our 12 dedicated volunteers and our talented construction staff that have been leading our home building efforts and maintaining our construction schedules since the onset of the coronavirus pandemic in March. Excuse me, John. Yes. Can you do me a favor and please turn on your camera? Okay. Sorry. 
Thank you. I'd like to recognize Renee Snyder, our president and CEO who leads our business so professionally and with such passion. Renee, as you probably know, never accepts hearing the word no to any challenge or obstacle. She works relentlessly and tirelessly to ensure we meet our goal to serve deserving families. Renee, on behalf of everyone joining us today for this annual meeting, I wanna thank you for your leadership. As we all know, our success is directly attributable to your indefatigable efforts and stewardship. I will now call the annual meeting to order. We served 14 families through our home ownership and critical home repair program this past year. 10 families paid off their mortgage. We serviced 179 0% interest mortgages. And we have inventory of 43 finished lots to serve future families with a permanent affordable home. Lives transformed. The campaign for Hammock Place has raised $3.4 million thus far towards our goal of 7, 7 million needed to serve 40 families. Our Hammock Place vision is unfolding as six families now call Hammock Place home and an additional six homes are under construction. 705 volunteers contributed nearly 13,000 hours towards our mission. We paid Sarasota County nearly $190,000 towards impact and permit fees, which is an increase of 84% over the prior year. We remitted almost $208,000 in property taxes to Sarasota County on behalf of our owners, homeowners. We contributed $13,500 to Habitat for Humanity Guatemala through the global mission. Our support helps build homes and provides families with healthy home kits that include smokeless stoves, water filters, and sanitary latrines. Despite a two month closure due to COVID-19, our ReStore produced $1.5 million in revenue to support operating expenses. Sales in the ReStore allow every charitable dollar raised to go towards building homes. We raised more than two and a half million dollars in charitable contributions from 615 donors. We were awarded $460,000 in SHIP funds to help us serve three families. This program is a partnership with the Sarasota Office of Housing and Community Development. SHIP funds come from the Sadowski Housing Trust Fund. Statewide allocation of these funds continues to be crucial to our mission. We received just over $230,000 in federal home funds through our partnership with Florida Housing Finance Corporation. Home funds provide essential down payment assistance for many of our families. This totals nearly $700,000 in federal and state funding received through SHIP and home programs. The financial strength of the organization continues to be one of our strongest assets and we remain debt free. Our total revenue was just over $6.5 million. Habitat Sarasota continues to hold GuideStar's highest level of recognition, a platinum seal of transparency. We have evidence that our program benefits the families we serve. We recently surveyed nearly 180 families that currently have a mortgage with us. Since becoming a Habitat homeowner, 75% said they had greater job stability. 63% stated their financial stability had improved. And 62% said their children's grades improved. As you can see, Habitat Sarasota continues to make an impact in the community while building sustainability. The Board of Directors provides critical resources and support for our mission. I'd like to recognize and thank two board members for their contributions whose terms expire this December. Michelle Crabtree has been a key in recruiting volunteers and garnering financial support from the realtor community. 
Tommy Gregory, our recently reelected Florida House of Representatives for District 73, is an advocate of affordable housing. Thank you to both of your service to the, to the Habitat for Humanity. January marks the beginning of a new year and a new slate of directors. The following are named as the 20, 2021 Board of Directors for Habitat for Humanity Sarasota. Renee Snyder, President and CEO. David Langout, Vice Chair, Coulter Homes. Brian Watson, Treasurer, Vanguard Land. Coy Carter Jr., Wagner Realty. Jody Garris, Gateway Home Lending. Lynn Kisser, Swift Incorporated. Jen Poppin, Fifth Third Bank. Justin Powell, Palmer Ranch Holdings. Melanie Rita, KSC Incorporated. Stephen Sutter, Sutter Roofing. Carl Watkins, Allegiant Private Advisors. Tom Wessel, Wessel Construction. Stephen Wilbur, Sterling and Wilbur Engineering Group. And myself as board chair. Thank you for being ambassadors of affordable housing and sharing the vision, vision that everyone deserves a decent place to live. I look forward to working with you as we continue to build strength, stability, and self-reliance through shelter. This concludes the annual meeting. For the past decade, Renee Snyder has led our organization. She is driven by the personal stories of the housing conditions that some of our families live in. Their daily struggle to make choices between buying groceries, paying for childcare, or covering the rent. Their will to elevate themselves out of these stressful situations motivates Renee every single day to dig deep and do more. Seeing their hard work and strength of character yield transforming results is her inspiration. Right. Thank you, John. The support from you and the executive committee has really helped us navigate through this past year. We began our physical year this past July with intentions to serve 22 families through our critical home repair and home ownership programs. And we had waiting lists for corporate volunteers at our build sites. Attendance in our home ownership classes were full and the restore was open six days a week. Then business as usual was interrupted in March when the coronavirus outbreak was announced. At the time, we did not anticipate a long-term impact. We took precautions and implemented what we hoped would be a short-term continuity of operations plan. But as the weeks passed, and on April Fool's Day, of all days, a 30-day stay-at-home order went into effect. We then shifted gears to a long-term operational plan. Unfortunately, we were equipped to transition most staff to remote operations. For the safety of employees and the community at large, we closed the restore and suspended all volunteer activity at our build sites for two months. While residents throughout the state were being told to shelter in place, we had families relying on us to provide the security that comes from a decent place to live. Rhonda, will you please share how quickly we adapted to serve these families? Yes, during that time, we had a handful of families that had already given notice to their landlord and were preparing to move into their habitat home. Six families were relying on us to find a safe way to finish the construction of their home so they could move in. Thankfully, the homes were at various stages and our skilled construction staff brought the homes to completion. Wendy worked tirelessly to prepare the closing documents and reassure the families that yes, we were indeed going to close on their home. With a pandemic looming in the background, 
We were needed now more than ever. Our partnership with closing attorney Michael Bell allowed us to safety net to social distance and hold our first ever virtual home closing. It was actually pretty cool. I was sitting at home and virtually handed over the warranty deed through the computer via Zoom. The, home, the homeowner retrieved it with a heartwarming smile. And at that moment, I just knew our Habitat team is unstoppable. Our home ownership application pipeline continues to grow. We modified our systems to collect the necessary documents through a secure online portal and implemented virtual home visits. This has allowed us to safely fulfill our mission without having in-person meetings. Yes, we miss the hugs, but we can still feel the joy and relief, even if it's through the speakerphone. The calls are also coming in from non-Habitat homeowners throughout the community with the need for critical home repairs. Shelter in place took on a whole new meaning. When you have a limited income and your roof starts leaking, it's easy to lose hope. Mary Ann received a notice of non-renewal from her insurance company due to the condition of her roof. In despair, but with faith in her heart, she reached out to senior friendship centers for assistance. They were aware of our critical home repair program and suggested she contact us for help. When asked what it felt like to receive such a letter, Mary Ann shared, I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I am living on social security and I don't have the budget for something unexpected. I don't even have a savings account. Stories like hers caused us to reimagine this program. We needed to provide assistance to homeowners that needed help now. Most of the applicants are at risk for COVID-19 and needed the reassurance quick and over the phone. Therefore, we streamlined the application process and fast tracked the approval time, all with the objective to address the need in our community. We pride ourselves on the bond that is formed at the very early stages of our home ownership program. Throughout the years, we celebrate with their happy moments and advocate for them when necessary. We know their struggle with the sudden impact of reduced income relating to COVID-19. However, this was the first time we were faced with numerous homeowners reaching out all at once in need of help. Their needs range from financial assistance with mortgage payment deferrals, help to file for unemployment, inquiries about how and where to access aid for utility bills and food, school and daycare concerns, and even notices of COVID related illnesses. Habitat Sarasota is blessed to have a toolbox that overflows with community support. Every resource is essential for us to quickly respond to homeowners needs and maintain a financially strong organization. Sheltering in place magnified the need for adequate housing. The prescription for improved health, higher education, financial stability and happiness starts with permanent affordable housing. At Habitat, we end most days reflecting on the joy expressed by so many families, hearing the relief in their voice as they thank Habitat and share the difference their home has made on their family during this crisis. Colette's front door says it all. God is good. She moved into her new home in May and beams from ear to ear when she describes her daughters decorating their own room with their personal touches. In Colette's words, I am overjoyed and blessed to provide a home to my girls. This home makes all the difference to us. It gives my daughters hope and confidence. After the close of our physical year, Colette was one of six new families living in Hammock Place. Just take a drive down Little Bird Court. The pride of ownership is evident. 
The personal touches added to each of their front doors reflects faith, hope, and gratitude. Habitat Sarasota homeowners are the backbone of our community. They are working families, nurses, healthcare aides, teachers, service industry employees, and have served our country in the military. We are happy to be part of their journey and proud of their accomplishment of achieving home ownership. Amidst all of the uncertainty, Habitat Sarasota continues to provide stability. The families we serve no longer have the stress of being rent burdened. They now have the self-reliance that comes with an affordable mortgage and can focus on the future. For almost three months, we paused all volunteer activity. This decision was not made lightly and safety was our first concern. We added extra hand washing stations at our build sites and purchased quality personal protective equipment so that when we could safely host a very limited volunteer corps, we would be prepared. We are especially grateful for the following volunteers who are dedicated to our families. They look past the temperature checks and the discomfort of the wearing a face mask and all the while working in the heat of Florida. Thank you so much to Donna Volio, Michael Besselman, Terry Blumenstein, Tom Denham, Dale Detweiler, Ron Hanley, Cheryl Hutton, James Laybourne, John Noakes, John Pajoli, Michael Sanderson, Jacob Stone, Jay Traverso, and Jean Wilborn. Each of you continues to amaze me with your love and concern towards others and our shared vision of a world where everyone deserves a decent place to live. We miss the interaction and camaraderie that our volunteers, donors, homeowners, and applicants and partners bring to our build sites. We miss the celebrating with our families at their home dedications. But until we can safely gather in person, we hold steady and focused on the magnified need, the need to build more habitat homes for our community. But what has remained constant though, is the importance of staff retention. This became more and more evidence amidst the backdrop of a pandemic. Our organization is blessed with a dedicated team. Their strong working relationships has enabled us to continue our mission in a safe and healthy manner. Prior to COVID-19, we were known for having a clean restore with quality merchandise and we elevated that standard even more. We made a number of changes to ensure the safety of our staff and shoppers. Larger aisles, safety shield at cash registers, hand washing stations, outdoor break areas and personal protection for all staff and customers. Our restore staff has really impressed me through this pandemic. I received letters upon letters praising our restore on their customer service and the genuine share that shines from our team. I'm proud of, of the way our restore team reflects our organization. Thank you to the entire staff across our organization for being, bear, being adaptable, responsive, and continuing to dig deep to help the families that we serve. Habitat Sarasota is unstoppable. We are relentless because our vision is a world where everyone deserves a decent place to live. So let's take a few moments to reflect upon a time before social distancing and face mask and when, when, and when we had large groups at our build sites. is a basic need. Food, rent, utilities, families should not have to struggle to make these decisions. Habitat for Humanity Sarasota builds permanent, affordable homes that relieve families. Our impact is generational. We give families stability and peace of mind. We give children the opportunity for a brighter future. 
No matter who we are or where we come from, everyone deserves a decent place to live. Habitat homeowners contribute to our community every day. They work in the service industry, teach our children, provide nursing care, and have served in the military. For many families living paycheck to paycheck, Habitat Sarasota is their only option. For 35 years, we have partnered with the community to transform lives. Because of you, our mission is stronger than ever. Because of you, Habitat Sarasota is building Hammock Place, a neighborhood for 40 families. When you volunteer your time, when you support the Restore, when you donate, you create lives transformed. I am a Habitat Sarasota volunteer. I'm a Habitat Sarasota Restore shopper. I'm a Restore donor. We are Habitat Sarasota partners. We are Habitat Sarasota. Together, we build. Over the past several months, I have found so much comfort reflecting on families like you saw in the video. Families that have a good home because of Habitat Sarasota. I picture 350 families with adequate space, a quality kitchen, and an outdoor areas to enjoy. I see children with their own room and a quiet place to study, especially now with many enrolled in e-learning. I see self-reliant families that know that their mortgage payments are affordable. I was recently asked, is there someone you lean on for inspiration? And without hesitation, I responded, I lean on the Lord. I walk every single day with him. With faith and love for our neighbor, we will endure. I want to leave you with a final thought from Millard Fuller the founder of Habitat for Humanity. A home is a basic human need. Those of us who are fortunate enough to have such a blessing ought to be reaching out to those who don't. Thank you for joining us today and may the blessings of your generosity and support of our mission bring you much happiness. I wish you peace, love, happiness, and good health. Together we build. <laughs>